Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Crafts with Corey. Today's episode, we are actually working with a 1928 or a 1921 Thompson stock. This one's a replica. Um, but, as you can see, it does not have the butt plate. It does not have any of the metal. Um, now, the problem is, you can't just go out and buy an original 1928 butt plate or a 1920 butt, butt plate for a Thompson submachine gun. Um, they're very rare. Uh, they're probably very beat up and used. Um, there's no real good source for it. So this is hopefully going to be a project in the future, uh, finances allowing, but we'll see. Um, so in researching this, trying to find a butt plate that I could put on here, which is going to be the metal part that covers this. So the wood doesn't split. Uh, I ran across a forum that Basically, people were having the, other, the same problem, and they mentioned that a 1917 rifle butt plate may work. Uh, so, I actually went out and grabbed one. So, this is an original 1917 rifle butt plate. And looking at pictures, comparing pictures, it does look like it will work. It has the very same profile. When went to attach it, we got this. So, let's see here. Yeah. So the problem is this upper tang is actually bent too far down. It's basically at a 90 degree angle and it doesn't match the shallower angle of the Thompson wood stock. Now, if we actually just compare the lines and the contours, it should work fine. The, uh, it even has the correct uh, trap door for the cleaning kit and it looks like the screw holes are gonna line up as well. So. I think all I have to do is just bend this upper tang out and uh, see if it'll fit. I don't know. We're going to try it. If it messes up, that's fine. This is a cheap part. This is actually, I believe, an original part. Um, I don't know. Take a look. Too much just saying. I think it is. It was like nine bucks. Got it from Numeric or Gun Parts Core. So if this works, we may actually be able to save a lot of money. So I'm going to reposition the camera. This is some live action stuff right here. Come on, come on, you know you want to. So I think all I have to do is bend it, but we're gonna see. So I'm gonna center you up in that. Can I zoom in? I can't zoom in right now, that's fine. Really? I'm learning on GoPros as I go. All right, so I think all I have to do is bend it. So I'm gonna pad my vise because I don't want that marring the finish on this buttstock. All right, there we go. Maybe. Yeah, we'll try that. So I think all I have to do is basically, I'm not gonna apply much pressure, um, but just enough. I'm gonna close this up a little bit, and then I'm going to reference how much I think I actually need to bend it. So again, there we go. So that's the gap I have to work with. Take a look and think about how much I have to do. I don't have to do much. Um, but we'll see here. Okay, I think I know. So here we go. I don't want to, I don't think. The... A generous amount of pressure. Okay, let's take a look. I think that that's pretty good. Oh, look at that. Like a glove almost. I think I've got, I may be able to do it, yeah. I'm lining up the hole here. You see, just a little bit of extra wood on the top side so I could bring it down more. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna bring, build it just a little bit more. and see how we go. Open. Doesn't require a lot of pressure, but by God, if this works, I just saved a lot of money. I should have taken photos beforehand. Darn it. That's all right. That's fine. Okay. Because this would be very helpful for a lot of people, I think. Oh, almost like a glove. Maybe a little bit more. No, actually, because if I push down on the tang, 
get that. So actually, I need to come back a little bit. I think I'm going to leave it. Um, I think I'm going to leave it. Again, this is a replica stock. It's not original. Um, so it's not going to be perfect. And then the holes sort of line up. <sighs> what to do? What to do? Because really, I need to flatten out this curve just ever so slightly. Let me try bending it back. Maybe I went too far. I didn't check the top hole as I went. So let's try just a little bit less. Okay. Let's try that. Yep, I think I went too far. Yeah, I went too far. It's alright. This thing's been pretty, knock on wood, this thing's been pretty malleable. I don't have to get perfection. Because again, I'm because I'm working with a re replica stock. Who knows if it's good, if the dimensions are good. Okay. Trial and error. I'm very very happy that's going this easy though. Okay, I'm about to where I was. So I've got that lined up. I got that lined up. I'm gonna do just a little, just a hair more. Okay. Alright. I think that's about the best I'm going to get. Is it perfect? Heck no. But I think it'll work. Let me try putting in the screws here. I don't want to do woodworking, but I will if I have to. All right, so we are binding here, binding there. Hmm. This may be a tougher job than I thought, but yeah. So this is gonna be tougher. Hmm. I think this will work though. I'm very happy about how it's going. Um. I think this will work. My GoPro is dying, so I may not be able to capture all this on film. But hopefully this goes to show that if you don't have the correct parts, you may be able to get something to work. So there's the bottom. I don't want to booger out the holes. We put that in and see where we're at. Okay. So it almost looks like this portion here needs to go in. So that requires bending the entire piece. That's going to be fun. I'll try it. Again, my GoPro is dying, so... But, I mean, that's pretty darn close, if you ask me. So, I need to, yeah, there's a gap there. I need, so the actual metal butt plate, let me see, the contour is how it falls. It's not perfect, but I think it'll work. So it looks like I need to bend in this entire thing. Okay, let's give this a shot. Take out the old screw. Some people may look at this wooden butt stock and see some differences. Again, I think it's for a project that money allowing will hopefully happen in the future but we'll see okay so i need to basically straighten this out a little bit i don't want to beat it i don't think it'll fit in there i don't need to straighten it out all that much it's literally just right up at the top. I don't know how that's going to be done. Hmm. There's what the trap door open. It does look like I need to bring it down just a hair more. Maybe, maybe just bending it will work. We'll see. Got 
that lined up pretty well. That one won't go, probably not. I still don't think. Maybe it will. Let's take a look. It may be one of these things that it'll work for now. And we can work on it a little bit later. This stock is not going to be needed for a while, so if I need to fiddle with it, I can. Okay, that's not perfect, but it may work. Well, I got the screws in. Again, not perfect. So this is what we got. Hmm. Is it perfectly aligned? No. But it may just work. I mean, I can open the butt plate. Fine. I'll have to grind down that screw in the middle. This is a replica screw. Um, I'm going to call that good for now, honestly. It's not that bad. Uh, perfect? No. But, it's gonna work for what I need it to do. So, I think this kind of embodies the, my motto of, it ain't perfect, but neither am I, and that's okay. Um, so this is, I think this is an option. If you happen to have a 1928 Thompson, or a replica, um, an original, I, gosh, if you have an original, but anyways, if you happen to have a 1928 Thompson stock, or 1921 Thompson stock, whatever number it is, um, and you're missing the butt plate, try an M1917 rifle buttstock. Um, fairly cheap, I think you can get them to work. Again, not perfect, but I think it'll just do the trick. So, I think that's it for this episode. Um, I'll install sling loops and all that stuff later on. But uh, yeah, quick little episode, hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, I appreciate it.